he's hit one there. Now he can celebrate. The Brit has struck. He's not struck goal, but he struck a personal best, I would think, with that effort. Gets the white flag. I think. I hope so. 55 17. <laughs> and you can see that Harry is pleased with that. Well, if it continues like this, it's going to get really interesting to the top of the field as we move into the top seven javelin throwers. Yeah, so a comfortable personal best for Harry Gar uh, Garf. We're back on the track again for the next final of the gates, the 1500 meters man. And now we go back to the 1500 meters yeah, on the track. Well, there are the runners ready for the men's 1500 meters final. Timo Beditz was the German who picked up this title two years ago in Chinese Taipei, inheriting the crown from Alexiev. Karitanov of Russia. Russia had a couple of champions in Kazan. Valentin Smirnov won there. And this is a title that all the way back in 1981 was picked up by a certain Saeed Awita of Morocco that started off his magnificent career. The Awita Express first pulled into station back in 1981 at the home of the World University Games in Bucharest. So then let's take a look at the uh, runners here. There's a British uh, representative, Michael Wilson. Uganda, Osuje. Ugandan, Osuje. Michal Romis of Poland. Starting position three from Algeria. Bronze medal at the uh, 2017 European Under 23s. Singh of India. This is his first major. Prince Michael Wilson based in the USA. This is also his first major championships as well. Mikael Dahl Jensen of Denmark also runs in this, a 23 year old who uh, oh, didn't get out of the heats two years ago. Has experience on the cross country as well. He went to Aarhus for that magnificent World Cross Country Championships in Denmark. He uh, was watching from a long way back, though, as Uganda picked up the gold there. Can they pick up another one here? Emmanuel Asuje, first major championship, is one of three men to set personal bests in the semi finals. Well, that didn't last long. Important to keep your feet right behind the line. Don't really get very much advantage here, nibbling at it anyway. On your left. So where we go then, three and three quarter laps of the track to see who will win the metric mile title here at the World University Games. So we will see Mike Bergen who is leading the race, who uh, present all the mistakes to from Algeria and India. So straight away going to the front of the two Algerians as uh, El Hussein Zoukane, the 23-year-old who went to the World Youth Championships in uh, 2013, and his compatriot, Abdul Razak Kaleli, a little bit younger, 22, and uh, didn't get out of the heat of this event two years ago. Well, you can see they're not going along very fast. It's uh, a pretty pedestrian pace that they are setting at the moment. So this rate is going to turn into an 800 meters. Nobody really wants to go in front of the two Algerians who have basically created a roadblock across lane one at the moment. Well, North Africa have great memories of this. He might not have been Algerian, but uh, Saeed Awita of Morocco back in 1981. Uh, it only feels like yesterday for me that Saeed Awita was running and uh, his pomp. An Olympic champion, world champion, world record holder. 
It's only when Morsley came along that uh, he was knocked off his perch. And then, of course, Hisham El Garouge took over from him. Now it's uh, a lot more open than just the North Africans in 1500 meters. But at the moment, they really do not want to go in front, do they? They're queuing all the way over into lane three now. The Belgian, Steen Baton, now moving out. The 25 uh, year old who went to the World Ju European Juniors and didn't get out of the heats there in 2013. He thought about going in front, and there he is, right at the front in the black, the yellow, and the red of the Low Country, Belgium. Well, they're thinking about it. The uh, British athlete Michael Wilson now, 23 years old, a personal best in the semi-finals of 3.43.19, and he's trying to move up onto the shoulder now of the front two. Still the Belgian who is leading, and a problem there for uh, Abdul Razak Khalili, who looks like he might have stepped on the wrong side of the curb there. He was the third fastest man into the... And he's had another problem there. That's twice that the Algerian has nearly gone down. Belgian keeping out of it. He still leads at the moment. And now the action will really kick in as they uh, head towards the bell. It's not the fastest by any means. It's going to be lucky if they get inside four minutes. But it is all about gold. So far, the Belgian, Steen Baton, still has the lead. He has it for the last 800 metres. He has pole position. They're queuing up behind him, though. So many of the fields still in contact. The Ugandan is just drifting off the back. Emmanuel Usuji. So there'll be no African success from East Africa, at least. But Kaleli, who's nearly fallen twice, now beginning to go backwards by the look of it. Zukane moving well. But the pole is looking threatening as well. Mikel Romis as they come round the bend. And it all comes down to this far thing, and here he comes. I thought the pole was in a good position, and it looks like Romis is going to come through and take the gold medal. Poland have their second gold medal of the World Universiad on the track, and that was a perfectly timed run from behind. The Polish team, Michal Rosmos, the winner in the 1500 final. Jan Fries looks like he was in there as well. The man who took a fourth national title this year for the Czech Republic. Well, it was always going to be a burn up. It was so slow. 3.53.67. They did manage to get inside of four minutes in the end. They had to. They last 400 meters easily the quickest really that was nothing more than a couple of laps of warm-up and that added with an 800 Kaleli there nearly fell over and then that nearly happened to him again tall rangy algerian and in the end those two hiccups just took the energy away from him Well, that was a marvellous run. It wasn't the classic final. It was a little slow and pedestrian. But nevertheless, Marcin Lewandowski, who is uh, their top middle distance runner and has been for a few years, will have been pretty impressed with seeing that, I think. Minor medals going to Finland with Jonas Rine, who got the bronze behind Jan Friss of the Czech Republic. But the victory going to Rosmis of Poland. Well, he made it to the semi-finals in both the 800 and the 1500 meters two years ago, did Michał Rosmis. Now, though, he's uh, developed into a different athlete, and he'll be looking for the double, I would imagine, in the 800 as well later in the week.